Actually, they have three main philosophies. Confucianism having good morals, kind of. Yeah, that's most of it. Tao Taoism is go with the flow. Yep. Legalism, <laughs> obey the law. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Hey YouTube, welcome again to this channel, Gate to Babylon, the gate to everything. Today we're reacting to the history of the entire world. Kind of, uh, and it says there, I guess. It's kind of the history of the entire world, but it's a, a really... Uh, I don't have to say it, it's a very good video. Um, and we're gonna comment, uh, comment on this video. And a, a lot of... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, this world is sometimes sometimes it give me um, a choke. Elaborate on some uh, points uh, and certain history periods that I know about. That well, a lot I know about a lot, but we we're just gonna discuss certain areas, give you a little bit more information, even though it's full of information. But that's history. It's a really good video, and we're gonna react to it and have a nice time. So, so yeah of course subscribe to the channel leave a like and leave a comment tell me what you what, what do you think of course i'm gonna ask certain questions maybe I, I think so and leave the answers in the comments below what do you think and uh let's go you know all the other youtube stuff so let's go hi you're on a rock floating in space pretty cool huh some of it's water fuck it actually most of it's water i can't even get from here to there without buying a boat it's sad i'm sad i miss you how did this happen? A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't of happen. Course. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. Even a you where. don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. Of course, that's how every it gets. Man, that reminds me when I have full of a uh, full of... <clears throat> what was going on to my tongue today? That was... This is literally how it begins and happens when I when I have philosophical uh, discussions with my uh, history other history nerds friends. Man, that's how every it gets. The universe, of course, uh, it started from nothing, but not exactly nothing. So yeah, let's continue a little bit. Forget That's this. It? I want to okay. be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know. But, but there's a little bit of fallacy here. Um, but I, but I think this is the best, funniest way possible it could be bought together, because it's every it's everything here necessary for that to happen. Then there is something and not nothing. Right? Um, let's continue. When to start. And that's exactly where it started. Boom! Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. Okay. The thing is, in this beginning over here, it's a lot of emphasis. Of course, it's very obvious, but I want to talk a little bit about it. On the ifiest point of view of the world, uh, with a little bit of science, but people, but there's a lot of stuff over here is theory, not science. A lot of people, they, a lot of people um, merge theory and science together because of propaganda, why not? They forget the meaning of theory and the meaning of science. Um, they forget that this is a theory in the end of the day, and it's not proven. That's all the five um, uh, evolution theories are just theories none of them are proven which is one of them is the Darwinian theory of evolution of course there is evolution of some kind but what that's where theories comes to the point in and Darwinian ev uh, evolution is very famous especially when it attacks the God thing point of view that's one of the reasons however people forget 
because other you know, like other uh, you know smart people talk about Darwin and fear and stuff like that's all because of propaganda job stuff it's fair job a la 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 you know that stuff however Darwin a lot of people don't know that fear fear of evolution first it is just a theory we're gonna talk about what it means exactly for something to become a theory or is a theory in other words um, but before that it's not only Darwin's um, theory there's not only just Darwin that came with evolutional theory for evolution there's four others and I will just put an image in the video uh, you, hopefully you see it right now in the edit uh, on the other four uh, theories that we have right now so far people just forget it's one of five theories it's not the only theory and it's not even the most likely theory amongst those theories but for some political what not reason this one got um, attention basically in other words like ancient Facebook it's just like how ancient Facebook sometimes certain things requires more attention but it just doesn't get it that's the thing it has a lot of politics actually and it's Darwin's theory of evolution almost became a religion uh, in a way or another this requires a whole another video but I just want a little bit tap to it and don't attack me heavy on this if you didn't understand totally I um, it's not exactly how I want to put it but I'm just trying to summarize it I don't like summarizing very complicated talks like this but I just want to pass it because this is not the main part of the video anyway so there's other four theories not just Darwin and Darwin's a theory of evolution just a theory what means to be a theory a theory is like a, hypo a hypothesis but m higher level so you're just guessing of course you have knowledge to it you have science um, science to it you have some examination and whatnot but it's still a theory what's the difference between a theory and a fact is for instance a fact I mean in terms of uh, point of view and parameters of science a fact is what you see so basically when you put something under uh, uh, a scope under a microscope you see a cell you see things moving that's a fact like how cells have nucleus that's a fact however a theory is something you bought by a human suggest suggesting something for a solution to a problem in science in a fundamental or not even necessary fundamental way I'm putting some weird uh, definition but I'm trying this is not a pure definition to what theory means but this is suits the topic we're talking about here or perhaps about right now here you will see um, the Google definition of what theory means but generally what I mean it is a theory it's not a fact and it's not absolute and Darwin's theory of evolution is one of five, uh, five different theories I mean there's other four theories and it's just a theory and it's nothing in it is fact factual and we can't say if it's right or wrong and 100% uh, although that I'm talking here object objectively speaking I don't agree with it personally um, so this is this is where they're coming from I just want to take this as an opportunity to explain these things because a lot of people um, t they think that and fear have been proven um, and all of that stuff no it's, it's far from being proven it's still a theory so as I said the difference between a theory and non fear a fact is just like how we see like there was a theory on there's a cell and has a nucleus um, before the Microsoft then when the Microsoft uh, microscope came to existence it became from a theory to a fact that's that's the difference between a theory that's the difference between a theory and a fact um yeah so it's still not proven it's one of four others theories so that's he's focusing here on the Darwinian's point of view um, and as we go along I would suggest other things however in this terms of the universe coming from nothing the universe did come from nothing or nothing something somehow some uh, some form of energy but the thing is 
um, there was nothing but yet nothing because for instant light and waves and stuff I mean yeah momentum waves whether it is energy light what not in a light in the end energy is light uh, like energy is light that's what energy is there's some form of light that your human eye cannot see not necessarily the light of the sun now yeah light of a sun like if you go outside of earth s certain levels of the sunlight we cannot see however sun is burning so you can see it you cannot see it that much outside of space uh, from space uh, like the reason why we we have um we see it here in morning when the sun is at our direction when the earth is rotating as you know is because of um, uh, what i call it, the atmosphere um brights up with uh, the gases in the atmosphere brights up when the sun light hits it that's why it gets um white or it gets sunlight that's how you have light Um, and that's why we see stars in the sky very clear. I mean, not in the city, but if you go outside, you see stars and the moon very clear. That's why the moon is shining. The sunlight sparks to it from the side and then comes back to Earth. So, yeah. But, but the thing is, it started of something nothing something nothing it doesn't meet up but that's how it is where in in my opinion as we need we should discuss um uh, uh, uh intelligent design and that is god that made the universe come from nothing so before nothing there is only god and God created time, space, and everything, whatever else that is out there we didn't discover yet. The universe is self-existence itself, the concept of existence, time, space, or whatnot, energy, all of that, came from nothing because of God willed it to be, and so it became, become, became, become, I think it's become, isn't it? Put that in the comments below. Anyway, let's continue. What's it made of? Corks and stuff. Ah, that's so a thing. With corks. In a place. Yeah, of course. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together. But actually, he's simplifying so much here in terms of physics. However, if he doesn't simplify this part in terms of uh, physics, uh, jump to the corpse directly. The court di directly. Uh, this video will get too long. But there's a lot of stuff before that. Yeah, how because the world water. is going to get bigger so and gravity, emptier. Yeah. Gravity's very but it's cool. not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Yeah. Great very news. Hot. The quarks yeah. are now happily married in groups of three. The reason it's why it's hot is because it's full of energy and exciting stuff. Things are getting exci exciting. What I mean by things getting exciting are like, you know, that atoms and those atom part, those practicals are getting excited. They're moving around. And you saw, uh, when things move around, when these things move around, the energy get, gets released from them and so things get hot. Proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around. Um, Non-physicists, um, when they see this, they would give a wrong idea, seriously. Because prot protons are made of things, neutrons are also made of things, but there is nothing called neutron neutron is a concept because that's again the theory and reality i mean fact comes in too because there is nothing that can make us see a, um a, a, an atom because everything is made of atom so how are you gonna see with something made of atom to look at atoms so atoms actually how atoms look it's all theory and it has a lot of fact in it though it's not completely it's not completely theory because there's a test that's made a whole a lot of tests uh, you can search them in Google if you want to take a look to them but 
with very specific tiny things so when you put all these, all these different uh, many different test results on those very tiny specific uh, answers for those tiny specific questions you put them together you can then prove there's something called proton there's something called electron however we don't know 100% how they look like or 100% how they act we know a lot about that but not 100% and we're still discovering stuff. For, for instance, neutron are not one particle. There's nothing called neutron. We created something called neutron, just like how in maps, like if you see a lot of X plus Y, like in the equation you're dealing with, there's a whole lot of X plus Y. We just make X plus Y equal to something and continue. That's basically what we're doing here with neutron. Neutron is made of electron and proton. That's why it becomes neutral because minus and the plus take out each other's it becomes neutron so so yeah there's nothing 100% called neutron neutron is made of a proton and an electron teaming up together and two that wants to join in but can't because it's still too great news the protons and neutrons are now happily yeah. married to each other some of them even doubled up great news the <laughs> electrons have now joined in congratulations the world is now a bunch of gas in space gravity but it's getting closer together and it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. Big Bang. New shit just got. Um, he's making a shortcut here. We have a Big Bang. Then we have stars forming. But he just measured them together. Just made. Oh, some shit. stars burn out and <laughs> yeah, die. Yeah, Bigger all. stars burn out and die with passion. And make some brand new, <laughs> way crazier shit. Stars, yeah. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made. And then die and explode into. So Come now on. stars this have cool so stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Oh uh, shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks, and it kind of made a mess, which is... Oh, yeah, the <laughs> Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them, and now there's yeah, hot water is outside in the sky. From that. Weather update, cooler temperatures today, and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, raining. It's raining. <laughs> Severe flooding alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Volcano alert. That's land. What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat sunlight. <laughs> Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into... Man, you know how these ads so, like, come on, you know, whole a lot of ads are just like, they're so annoying. But when someone makes fun of it, it's so funny for some reason. Do you know why I put that in the comments below? Food. Taste the sun. Side effect, now there's oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. Then the earth might yeah, have been a snowball yeah, for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge, it's a plant, it's a worm, and some other types of weird strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Cambrian Explosion. Cambrian explosion. The reason why it's called explosion because all these things still it's not justified. I mean answered how these came to existence recording to Darwin, but it's also recording to the other four um theory of evolution that we just talked about later. Before I mean <laughs> Yeah. Uh this is getting so fast, that's why I'm so yeah, it's a whole a lot of information to process. But the thing is, that's why uh, that's why it's called Cambrian explosion because I didn't know from where heck did they come from. There's no you know steps. There's no ladder. Like it's kind of it just came to existence again, just like the universe from from nothing. There's no something explaining the Cambrian explosion so far. There's some people trying, but trust me, don't get don't get uh, tricked by their uh, propaganda. Still not explained. You know, the Cambrian explosion all by itself requires a whole video. Not even a video, a series. But let's continue. Wow, that's animals and stuff. But we're still yeah. in the ocean. Hey, come <laughs> That's a good way to summarize it, basically. But it's a good way, but not a good way to use it always. It makes a whole lot of misconceptions. Go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly <laughs> laser. Okay. Yeah, because we still didn't have the atmosphere. 100%. Not anymore, a now the animals can go Goes on, on land. Yep. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. 
and there's no food yet, so I don't care. Okay, will you learn to walk if there's plants up here? Maybe, said some bugs and fish. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have babies. Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg in the water in the egg. Works for me. Bye. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's way too simplistic. That is so funny. If you know exactly what he's talking about, like scientifically speaking, it would get so damn funny. Man, there's like... People sometimes fail the test because of this, and this guy just making fun of us. Not exactly like this, but there's a whole lot of science to it. And it's a whole topic on itself, and this guy just roasted all of us, like in the, in the, in the university. Come on. And now everything's huge, including bugs. Yeah. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. And boom. Oh fuck, now everything's dead. <laughs> just kidding, here are the survivors. <laughs> Keep your eye out. One is dead. Man, this guy is super funny. And this one, because it's about to become the dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Here's another yeah. map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. Bye-bye. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're going to dominate the world. Yeah, because just learn how to grab stuff. All right. Yeah, yeah. So it's taking the Darwinian approach, just like I said. It's very obvious from the beginning. Um, the thing is, with, with humans... As I said, is Darwin Darwinian uh, uh, approach is it's still a theory. It's very important to, to exactly put in your mind always that this is just a theory. Well, it has some some very little evidence. It still have some tone to it. I'm not saying it's just some you know story written on paper. And it's theory, no, it's actual theory. It's like scientifically a theory, but we st we need to deal with it as a theory, not a fact. A lot of you know people making money out of talking about this stuff. You know those atheists, um, scientists, very famous ones. Um, I forgot names. I was just put some pictures of them with names. They they making money of this, but there's a lot of people just. They they fit they they marketing themselves as scientists. They think they are scientists. However, they kind of making science a little, a religion, and 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 they, they start to believe with things. But they said we don't believe in anything, so it's kind of a contradicting themselves. This whole this this on itself requires a whole video on itself. If you want a, a video on that, but but uh, comment down in the comments below. If you want to see a video on that, me talking about it. And I will make like actual video. I'll just write stuff down on paper and, you know, take it as Like, take this as a scientific approach as possible objectively. And I will explain it to you. Um, it, it would take a little bit of a while. I need to put the resources and everything, make sure everything's correct for, um, for being as correct as possible. Um,. Because it needs to be formal in these type of topics, and and as accurate as possible is very necessary. Um, however, just if you want that, just put in the comments below, and I'll make a, a um, perhaps few videos on that. Um, but the thing is, it's very important for now to know that this is just a theory, and we need to deal with it as a theory. It's not a fact yet. And walk? No, like walk. And in. in in the God theory thing, I'm a Muslim, so of course I'm Arab, I'm a Muslim. Not all Arabs are Muslims, but most Arabs are Muslims, so yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm Muslim. And I believe in God and Yahweh, if you want to call, if you want to use a Jewish, it's, it's just God, okay? It's Allah. Allah. A lot of people just can't do the ha, the letter ha. It's like etch, but way softer. Very difficult, don't try to pronounce it, you're just gonna portray the name. Seriously. But, um, just say God, man. It's just God. Um, uh, it's more than just God. It's, it's, um, it refers to the one God, refers to... It's, it's like when, it, when, when a Muslim says Allah, he's saying God plus Godness simultaneously. 
because Allah can refer to Godness and God both simultaneously because if you want to say God especially if you use Google Translate perhaps it's changed but there's a word for God in Arabic which is Rub 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 that's what God is however when you when you say Allah which Christians and Jews Arabs once do use it as well it refers to to the higher higher being to to the God of all no there there is other gods like rubs no uh, there isn't but it's referring to the God and the godness simultaneously at once just a little bit bonus to explain that but it's basically just God just say God man don't say Allah don't portray the name unless you learn Arabic okay it's very hard to say uh, the, uh, uh, Although that I want to say just another bonus that is um, Arabic is not hard to learn well you're gonna say it's easy for you to say but the thing is the hardest thing in Arabic is just pronunciation everything else is easy what you say you write and what you hear I mean what you say you read and uh, what you see you read and what someone says or you say you write you just it's very simple and there's no complicated structure to writing all that stuff. Um, if you want to go high level, if you want to complicate it for yourself, co grammar can get complicated in Arabic. Not it, it, grammar in Arabic makes sense, but at at some stage, if you want to keep doing grammar, it will get like definition and integration in math. It's literally like definition and integration. But it's not necessary for you to go that high. Like most Arabs don't go that high nowadays, even though, even that. So it's not necessary. If you want to learn Arabic to be able to speak Arabic, write some Arabic, um, write like a simple is Arabic essay, you don't need that. It's very easy. The, the hardest thing and the only very hard thing is pronunciation. So I'll encourage you to learn Arabic. You'll be able to, to understand the Quran too. There's a lot of advantages in that, and there's a lot of people who speak Arabic, about 500 million, and all non-Arabs, Muslims, want to learn Arabic, and so many of them, millions of them, know Arabic too. So Arabic is not only the language of the Arabs, it's the language of Islam. Yeah, the other bonus, which is the main part that I want to talk about, like in Islam, I, we don't, hu we think humans, Adam, we got dropped down on earth. So it didn't go through any of this process. Uh, a human is not part of the animal kingdom. We're not animals. Um, we're not even related to them at any way. So in in Islam, we 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 can say we are mammals, but at the same time, we're not part of the mammals exactly. We're outside. Like there are humans, and we are. Uh, there are there are animals, and we are humans. <laughs> anyway, so it's separate, totally. That's from the Muslim perspective, religion perspective, Abrahamic religion perspective. This requires a whole video as well to explain. But let's continue. Like that, and grab stuff at the same time, and bang rocks together to make pointed rocks. Ouch! Yeah, all of this is Darwinism. And make crazy it's just a theory. It's very important. Things. That's a human person. And now they're everywhere, almost. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Yeah, stuck. Let's review. There's people on the planet, and they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. This is <laughs> great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between the- Yeah, this is, this is the oldest area in, in the world, Mesopotamia. Also, this sometimes it's the riches, sometimes it's the second riches. Right, China and Mesopotamia always combat on who's the richest in the world, and they are really rich. Not just in the world that time proportionally, they're very rich. Rich uh, Middle East and China, they combat sometimes Middle East first, sometimes China's f as first. But they're first, second, always in the third because of complicated politics. Um, although it could have become just equal to the other two, um, sometimes it is, a few times, um, until 
the 19th century, 1800s. And then, most specifically, after the fall of the Ottoman Empire, it got GG effed up. So uh, yeah, until the, from the fall of the Ottoman Empire, it's actually the Ottoman the actual Ottoman Empire disappeared in 1908, where the actual Sultan that uh, goes back to Muhammad, uh, the conqueror of the Obina, uh of Constantinople, and to you know uh, Uthman, which is on on which we get the Ottoman, as in Arabic we call it uh, Uthman. So it's Ottoman from from Uthman it becomes Ottoman because of you know pronunciation again it's hard so things change. That's why in English is called Ottoman. In other languages, Spanish I think it will be called a little bit different. But yeah, okay, you got it. Uh, so yeah, yeah un un until 1908. After that, we Middle East just way more complicated than other it became uh, other in history it was and just gg these two rivers and the animals are helping guess yeah. what happens next more food and more people who came Classic. to buy the food now yeah. you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales and now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses and now there's more people and they invent more things more which people. makes things better and more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people and now there's business money writing laws power system society, society. coming soon to a dank river valley near you yeah the all the uh civilizations from since then since here which is around 8000 BCE or more specifically 4000 there's like a missing history part but anyway recorded history is from full is from 4000 BCE and the first people started to record uh, history is in the Arabian Peninsula and then Mesopotamia and then got to the rest of the world but um, uh, n just a bonus fact: history in Arabic is is, is tarikh, and the word tarikh, which we use history for, is the same word. It's the same word which we use for date. So that's basically what history is. So when you say history in Arabic, you will say tarikh, and when you want to say what's the date of today, you will say what ma tarikh uh, What is the date of today? Tarikh, tarikh. The history in Arabic is date, the dates. That's history. In that date, this happened. Simply, like we simplify things. But so yeah, from this point onwards, all the way up to the 16th century, civilizations, kingdoms gets formed around rivers and lakes, giant lakes. That is. That's simply how things are. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introducing bronze. bronze. Made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know There's if my no dealer tin won't tin tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Egypt. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, <laughs> China. And did I mention? These people are getting somewhere, they're gonna conquer some stuff. In this river valley civilization. Four. The Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Not <laughs> middle East is complicated always. So certain centuries it wasn't because it's unified. But it's complicated from... From the beginning? <laughs> Although it's from the Babylonian Empire onwards. Middle East is complicated. From the ba late Babylonian Empire, late here means in the end, not the neo Babylonian Empire, the Babylonian Empire. From that point onwards, um, Middle East so damn complicated. But you can say the entire world is complicated. It is. Do you think life is easy? I'm sorry, but it is what it is. GG. Anyway. So these horsemen then conquer some stuff. Not or er, clop clop. It's the people with the horses, and they made an empire, and then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks. Ah, oh, look, it must be the Greeks, or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China. New arrivals in. The <laughs> you know why he's saying guess who's gone? <laughs> India, because 
it was so divided. But the thing is, why his guess who's not gone? China, because China's China's that's a, uh, China's always unified breaks. Unified breaks. It's always breaks. Meng always explode, man. So, <laughs> yeah, when you play, you know that uh, civilization game, man, it always Meng explode. For some reason. Anyway. Um, the thing is, um, back then, it's not like how today, like, the internet and everything, communi not communication transport so fast. Back in the day, India, when someone like in the Middle East talking about India or someone in Europe talking about India, it's like me talking about the people living in Mars. If there's people living in Mars, I'm saying like, you know, metaphorically, for them, it's the same. For the Middle East talking about China, it's like talking about another solar system. So we have Europe as a solar system. We have Middle East and North Africa a solar system. And these two solar systems are very close together. We have India solar system. We have China solar system. We have East Asia, East South Asia solar system. We have the Turk solar system. The Turks are not mean Turkey. I mean Russia, Mongolia, those stuff. You have Japan a solar system, and you have Korea as like those normally pl cold planets um, outside of solar systems. They're not part of a solar system, but just outside between two solar systems. And you have Africa as a gigantic solar system. For them, it's just literally different solar systems. Things were much slower. Transport, information, communication, much, much slower. Like for someone in the Arab world or in Turkey talking about in India, it's it's literally like someone talking about another universe. It's it's that's literally how it is. That's why like China has no much interaction with the rest of the world. The biggest interactions China had with the rest of the world is because during the Mongol invasion of the thirteenth invasions, or rather I say, uh, of the thirteenth century. And then later, you know, when Britain came to the thing of the Opium Wars and stuff like that. But let's continue. India, maybe it's yeah, India always gets conquered by cousins or something. And they wrote some yeah, hymns and tribes. mantras That's why they're cousins. and stuff. You could make a religion out of this. There's... Um, I don't like how he's like... Making fun of religions or whatnot. You shouldn't do it like this. Exactly, I don't like it a lot. Try, try. There's some um, evidence that Troy did exist. Um, not exactly how you think. You can you for you who are interested in this but didn't look it up. Just just try on Google. Does Troy exist? There's there's, there's evidence that Troy did exist, uh, but not exactly how you think. I will just leave it that for you to search it out. Here's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can you switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. 10-step <laughs> program. <laughs> By the way, 10-step program is the same with, same with the Jews. And somewhat similar with the Muslims. Here's some huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind, it's the Babylonian media. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's big. Ah, oh, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You um, I don't like this simplification. It's about relaxing and finding the emptiness by not being empty yourself but to focus so much that basically ultra instant but to focus so much that you basically um, empty your mind be uh, sh uh, uh, to be shapeless and formless to be everything and something at once that's the idea, so, so, psychologically speaking, which helps a lot in thinking and finding stuff like this. Because of this type of meditation thing, 
uh, we get new team finding some stuff because of the apple and um, that's how um, you know uh, Einstein added the square to the C and then we get the equation that works E equal MC square in the beginning he thought E equal MC which is similar to other equation I forgot what it is but the, f but the thing here, you have to add the square to the C, to the speed of light. He got enlightened in a, in a, in a, what do you call it, in a, while he was sleeping in, in a dream. So he just woke up, added the square to the equation, and it worked. Hooray, we give the equation. You can make a religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but what? Maybe you can make a religion out of this. Um, actually, there's some evidence saying that Buddha didn't want it to become a religion but it just became a religion anyway however this Jin Ki Yan Ken Chu these not exactly how they are later they become Ken Chu Ki Yan Zhao Han Wu We Wu We We or Wu We We sorry the seven warring state period, but later this is uh, this is not the seven warring state period. This is the, what I call it, part of uh, the bigger picture of the of the spring and autumn wars because they fight in the spring and the autumn. Uh, um, yeah. So later on, it becomes the seven warring state period where Kin wins it. After they they got attacked by a collision, almost all of them except for Key, and then somehow um, they get very lucky and they managed to defeat the collision, even though the collision outnumbered them anywhere between three to five times. But they had a really strong defense uh, defense uh, defensive position though. So yeah, Key didn't help. I was, didn't help the rest of the collision because it had some business diplomats with Key. However, in my opinion, if Key would help um, the rest of the coalition at that point, I think they would have took over Ken, uh, Ken. and we wouldn't have China because Ken, Ch Ch the word China today we get it from Ken, not Chu. So yeah. Anyway, Jin will break. They all break. Anyway, continue. While it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. <laughs> knock knock, it's Chandragupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of India. Or most of India. <laughs> yeah, he did. But what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants. Merchants. <laughs> yeah. And they've got spice. It's not necessary to conquer them because if you conquer all the rest of India and you just leave this, these guys over here, basically you give them mercy to them. Like, it's even not conquering them, it's um, like swearing at them. You're making them look weak, that they're not worth even conquering. Well, I'm not meaning that they're not even worth conquering because they're rich and merchants. However, this big empire can make all it is necessary stuff that it needs out of this area without conquering. Because this is the big boss here and if they want to conquer, they will conquer. It's like having a nuclear weapon. Though these guys of the merchant will, op will, will, you know, obey anything that the big guy above here that control rest of India says. So it's not necessary actually to conquer them anyway. Who would like to buy the spices? Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals. Yeah, the king unified China. The first emperor of China. Is their emperor, main emperor, what is his name? Man, I'm watching Three Kingdoms. I like the Three Kingdoms anime. What's, uh, I'm not getting all my information from anime, but don't worry. Um, what is his name? Shin. No, no, Shin. That's his general. Come on. Uh, what his name, man? The first emperor, emperor Yan, isn't it? Yeah, Yan. Philosophy. Yan, I think. Uh, I'll put an image. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Confucianism having good morals, kind of. Yeah, that's most of it. Tao Taoism is go with the flow. Yep. Legalism. 
little baby before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. But all of these three are necessary. They're intertwined, that's like a triangle. You need all of these three. Out here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Yeah. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. For Thanks breakfast. for invading our home. <laughs> what a time of breakfast that takes over a century. It's not a breakfast. It was hard as. Even for the Romans. Although it was kind of a practice. Plan, said the Jews who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said. <laughs> now we're in well, first year. Jesus. Some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can. Um, according to Islam, Jesus didn't die. He didn't get crucified. Just, just to mention that. And we believe in Jesus as a prophet. And before he got crucified, he was taken by God. And and, and there's a person who got crucified whom. God made him look like Jesus, but he is not Jesus. And then this requires a whole video, and so right. But let's continue. Make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a. Well, the history of Christianity is far more complicated than this because Christianity got changed. You, you just can't echo with that. I'm sorry, Christian, but all historians, even Christian historians, all the people that knows history, I mean, knows Christianity as well from close. Even Christians themselves, who are knowledgeable, um, they know that um, you know Christianity got changed, and it, Christianity in, in in the beginning was um, a Jewish religion, and then it got all over the place. But then those people whom the religion got to that went all over the place of the Roman Empire through the Roman Empire, um, these people took over. They had their own ideas, and then it changed over. And I would say that the Christian Jews' teachings were preserved in Islam. Or you can get their own water. Sick new yeah, trade routes, said India, accidentally spreading their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good. That's how how things work, like religion and stuff. Because as I said, like from 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 India to here, Thailand, one on in nowadays terms, Vietnam is literally. For them, going over the sea on ship, even by this time, it's a miracle. This is big journey. This is this is too complicated for them. I mean, because there's not much communication. So when people get in communication from merchants, they like people would just discuss their ideas, and then some people over here in town just like the idea of Buddhism, so they convert it. Simple as that. Good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. <laughs> well, the Free Kingdoms era, um, in my opinion, Free Kingdoms era starts from uh, the Yellow Turban Rebellion. However, as other people will say that the Free Kingdoms era starts when uh, Lu Bu kills uh, Don Zhou. Others will say when the Wu We Shu declares themselves as separate empires. It doesn't matter. The actual beginning of the Freakons era is from the Yellow Turbo Rebellion. And that's how things are in China because they too collected upon themselves. But plus they're far away from the rest of the world. And there's mountains between them and in India. And the sea is big. Like China had the most powerful, capable in navy in the world for most of the history. I'm saying most of history all the way up until the the 17th century. Why not after that? Because from the 17th century onwards, they they too isolated way more than before. Even though they're getting other people trying to knock knock on their doors, and they they didn't they has been for a long time they didn't go to war so they not not experienced soldiers neither experienced generals especially need experienced generals there's no no wars you're not fighting because back in the history in the days like if you don't fight somebody will fight you if you don't conquer somebody else will conquer you and even if that didn't happen somewhere in the future will happen 
And what when that happen if you don't attack somebody that you wouldn't know who's capable to lead the army, you wouldn't have capable experienced soldiers near the commanders, and you wouldn't be able to even the commanders wouldn't understand the full potential of their army, what's their weaknesses and what's their strong strength. So yeah, that's because far away just China always collapsed on itself. Because yeah. For them like a Chinese emperor like the king of the world. Because they don't care outside China. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. China's home again. The Jin. Uh, actually, the Jin are the same as the we in the north, but they changed the name with the descendants of Satsao. Uh, yeah. They didn't there because they have a big army and the smart guy, the, the sleeping dragon, just ha uh, just died. So that's why it became easy. As usual. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got business. Said the Ghana Empire, selling lots of gold and slaves. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire, and I was wondering, is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the Golden Age of There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. <laughs> first name Chandra. Yeah. The first. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans, said the Romans, being invaded by non- uh, The thing is, the word barbarian, oh, let's move on. Non-Romans, R.I.P. Okay, um... Just something to, to explain here. The Romans talk about anybody who is... Anybody, as a Roman, in the Roman Empire. Anybody who is not part of the Roman Empire, uh, not Roman basically, and not Persian, anyone who's not Roman, neither Persian, and not in this area, is dis uh, is 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 dis described and talked about as if they are what I call it barbarians. And 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 that's from where we get the word barbarians, which is like saying not Romans, not civilized. Because the Roman Empire making some propaganda about them, they are civilized, but just different, not Romans. So yeah. Just to, just to explain that. Let's continue. The Roman Empire. Er and this is very related. Oh yeah, this is very related to the Assyrian uh, revolt and the Assyrian religion thing, and you know the. And the conference and the what's the word? And the creeds of those different uh, religious meetings in terms of the Christian, the different Christian creeds. Where you get the Assyrians, the Unitarian Christians, for which some wars happened, some discussions. You know, as Muslims. We 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 view Unitarians, Arisians as Muslims. That's basically what Islam is. It's being Arisian. Arisian believe as well uh, that uh, that Jesus is just a prophet. It's not God. It's not the Son of God. Um, the thing is, Athios, Arios versus Athnathios. To search for Arios vs Afnafios, and you see, like this, from this, a lot of wars came to bringing a lot of a lot of them just about money and power, plus um, discussions about religion. But it's not pure war on religion thing. Is because some a lot of Roman Empire so far, even now, it's still they not Christians or even religious. Some of them. And some of them even hate religion. Some of them, um, you know, way too much attached to a Greek slash Roman God thing, and they want to kill anyone who doesn't believe in that. They extremists in that regard. So 
in, in top of that, you have people in the church trying to grab power. And one of the ways to grab power, they were trying to change religion to something that suits them so they get power from it. Plus, you have Paul and other reasons to back it up. So they don't want to look like they, they want to justify it. And there's a whole lot of discussions. Plus, it started over time to lose discussions. There's a whole lot of erisians uh, in the in in what I call it in the Roman Empire. Constantinople was whole fully erisians or Unitarians. They don't believe Jesus was God. Neither they believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit then developed later on as well. You can search that and move on from it. A lot of Christians don't know about this, but you should know. Actually, just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. <laughs> yeah. The Mayans have figured out the stars. A lot of people oh, forget about the Mayans. City, population really everyone. Good. The Goat Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Goat Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. How's those trading kingdoms? Bigger and there's more. Don't worry about it. China. We'll break again. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. Deep in the Arabian desert, on the top yeah, of the mountain, the real god whispers in Muhammad's ear. So he goes down to the cube where everyone worships gods, and he tells them their gods are all fake. And everyone got so mad at him that he had to leave town and go to a different town. That's way too simplified because, well, I understand uh, this here all, all by itself requires a video. The thing is why I just want to add a little bit of information here. The, uh, after Muhammad got the revelation, he stayed in Mecca for 13 years. And then after that, he got to Medina. Before it called Medina, which means city of prophet or the city with the the. Like I'm not saying the city. The name of it that said the city. Um, but that's what Medina means. But before that, it was called Yathrib. And they got there because it the Med uh, the Meccans started to do some extreme uh, persecution. So the prophet just fleed. You can make a religion out of this and maybe conquer the world as well. Uh, it's not making a religion out of this. From the beginning, it was a religion. And in terms of conquering the world, uh, that requires a whole video. A lot of people have misconceptions in this regard. But, but, um, the thing is, later on. After that, it's unified because, you know, Prophet Muhammad had less than nine, nine battles and most of them are defensive uh, because they got persecuted and the Meccans want to destroy them. So the Meccans are always coming after them. Um, then after Prophet Muhammad defeated the Meccans, rest of, uh, you know, the tribes and, uh, and the few cities in the uh, Arabian Peninsula just... Because because before two years from uh, Muhammad taking Mecca, uh, the thing is what happened is, the, finally they made a treaty of peace that's supposed to last for ten years, but it didn't because the Meccans broke it in a way or another. Prophet Muhammad got anger on that, so he said we want to take Mecca. The, the Meccans surrendered, and Prophet Muhammad was happy with that. Then he just released them, so they they free, but just as as so they obey the law. Then later on, they called convinced because there's some friendly discussion what happened. They convert to Islam. Then a lot of more friendly discussions with leaders of other tribes around, uh, and so the rest of the Arabian Arab <coughs> Arabian princes uh, converted to Islam. Conversion of Islam, the Arabian princes uh, wasn't by sword, okay. The sword was on the Muslims in the Arabian Peninsula. Then, in terms of Persian, the fight of the Persian, the Roman Empire, a lot of people like look at this huge. They did it so fast, but the thing you wanna know and understand that all of this, it's only two empires. It's like two countries. It just they had they happen to be surrounded by the two greatest empires of the time. That's all it is, and they kicked both of them simultaneously. A lot. Um, uh, there's a historian says that uh, says that at the time for the Arabians of the desert of the Arabian Peninsula taking on the Roman Empire, the Byzantine, the Byzantine Roman Empire, and the assistant uh, Persian Rom uh, Persian Empire, it's like imagine the um, 
you know the tri the tribes people of living in in Russia what's their name Cosmos Osmos I forgot their name taking on Russia and uh, and the United States both simultaneously at once or in terms of today's language is like going against China and USA uh, simultaneously and defeating them very quickly that's what happened but the thing why this happened primarily is because uh, the Persian Empire after like the, the Arabian Peninsula got unified the Persian Empire uh, supported an outbreak after um, a, a break in, in the community and because the Persian Empire is seeing them the, 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 they really they are dick the Persian Empire at this time this version of the Persian Empire that was there not in terms of the leader, but the assassin, assassin uh, Persian Empire, the last Persian Empire. They were horrible, like seriously. But the thing is, they supported, uh, they, they, they made the political situation uh, uneasy in the area and they caused civil war. They supported these people that making the civil war with you know weapons and small units and uh, specific warriors and stuff like that through the sea they supporting them and stuff like that so then that's why the Arabs attacked the Persian Empire first sorry about this so they attacked the Persian Empire first but the thing is they didn't want to attack from there for some reason so they had to attack both the Persian and the Roman simultaneously but they, it happened they defeated it as one, defeated them and it's one of the only situations in the entire history of the world that somebody d fights two front wars and defeat them simultaneously so at least in exception to the United States as well as they did then in World War II however in World War II the enemy is stupid seriously but over here is they defeat both it's one of the only times in history so this is this is a very simplified version of it, but let's continue. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Yeah, Plus there's literally a bunch of over Europe. I wonder if there's room for mores. Here's all the wisdom. In a house. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Just in time for the Islamic Golden Age. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili <laughs> coast. Said the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Remember this tiny space you have to go through to get from here to there? Someone owns that now. Want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere? The Franks have the biggest kingdom in Europe, and the Pope is so proud that he invites the king over for Christmas. Surprise! You're the new Roman Emperor, said the Pope, pretending to still be part of the Roman Empire. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The Northerners, <laughs> no, France. just Norse if you don't have much time, are exploring. Yeah. They go north, no, from the north, north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. <laughs> they also invade some other places and get called yeah, many names, such so. as Vikings. Yeah, There's the Rus, the Kievans, the Vikings? Happened. I don't think so, said the Kiev. Yeah, the thing is, why that happened? Because, um, Iceland didn't be called Greenland. Because they didn't, in the beginning, they, they thought it's gonna be so green, like how in Italy. However, they got um, surprised that it wasn't exactly how they, how they imagined it to be. So, it was, it, it is Iceland, a bit snowy and stuff like that. So, they called it Iceland. But then, after they found what's now we call Greenland, Greenland um, was m much more... Um, it was it was like much more, not much more. It's like it was. I'm also getting confused, man. It was less greeny than Iceland, but still they wanna they they hope that it would find somewhere something that's more greeny than Iceland. So it just called Greenland. Evan Roos. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany. Germany. Don't worry yeah, about don't want it. New kingdoms. Christianize all the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks. Yeah, Seljuk Turks made a lot of problems. Plus, they made a lot of good stuff. But it's because of the Seljuk Turks that the, the Crusade was justified. Huh. 
said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade! They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, yeah. Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town in a cliff. <laughs> Guess who's here? Come here. Where? Here. And Pagan is there. Vietnam unconquered itself, Korea just became itself, and Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take yeah, over that's the government. What you are. China just invented bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. <laughs> Some yeah. of the, the thing is, um things don't last a long time because of communications and transport. But at the same time, the thing is why stuff like this don't last a long time. Not just because of communication and stuff like that. It's because their leaders they just focus on making big, big but they didn't focus to make it strong internally. That's one point. Second point is because sometimes they don't, a lot of time, they don't prepare themselves for, um, you know, unknown events because the Mongol Empire collapsed only when the, the guy who became the, uh, the Mongol Emperor after Genghis Khan, the guys few after him, it was all fine, stuff like that, and united and because of loyalty and stuff, but one of them, I forgot his name. I will just put an image here for him. Uh, I hope. Uh, I think we will see or edit it. Uh, but the thing is, um, one of them like died before he appointed an heir because it's like the, the the Mongol emperor, but it's literally it gets selected. So he needs to select an heir out of the generals and stuff. But the thing is, he died before he do so. So then it start the you know rivalry thing and it's collapsed. If that didn't happen, I don't think so. The, uh, the uh, Mongol Empire would collapse until centuries later. But yeah, the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where that invading India thing is. It's like needs a lot of essays and series all by itself. Like those Turks there did a lot of horrible stuff, but it's not. Muslim Indi Hindus thing. It's need a video to explain that. That's a big claim, I know, but please just understand this. Where the Swahili gets all the gold. gold. Look at this. However, if you want it really badly to meme explaining this, just write down the comments below if you want to. Chad means lake. There's an empire there, right in the middle of Africa. Yeah. The king of Mali is so rich. Just like, you know, as I said in the beginning, it's around lakes and rivers. She's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich. It's actually, he was the richest. Actually, right now, by today's, today's standards, he's still the richest man on earth. Everyone said, the Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which is the thing is, uh, the Muslim empires just got divided. So the, the, the guys on Iberia are not getting any support. Otherwise, Reconquista is impossible. We'll soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. <laughs> Whoops, half of Europe. <laughs> yeah. The exclusion, because of that, and now that again, Islam came back to it. But because the exclusion just killed, killed the, the, they killed all the Muslims and the Jews. So, no more Muslim control. The thing is, I want to explain something before we talk about the black, this horrible thing, black death. The thing is, uh, with it is, Muslim, yes, they expanded and thing, but usually is, as I said in the beginning, is fighting only two empires that just don't want to talk at all, and they very, very tyrannical at the time. However, um, however, later on. It got the, the Muslim Empire got divided. There's a lot of small battles that's for uh, money. Like for example, they fought in two battles uh, the Tang Empire in Central Asia, which is just for control. Just I said like if you don't conquer, somebody will conquer you. If if you don't fight, you wouldn't have experience. Somebody else will experience will conquer you, even if you're rich. So it's not like in, in today's stands because today we have technology, we have weapons, stuff like that. However, back then, the experience of your soldiers and generals are the most important thing. In fact, if you don't have battles, who is the general? How will you employ the general? 
why this guy is general. Did, well, what did it achieve? Because a general to become a general just needs to achieve things, not just study and do stuff. History is complicated, I know. That requires a whole video in itself again. But the thing is, um, like for instance, the Muslim, di the Muslim didn't enter India, didn't even enter India politically, just a little bit of merchantship. The Turks entered India because the Mongols getting in into their area, so they shifted to India. Plus, it was an easy target, target back then. And on top of that, a lot of these Turks that entered India were originally Mongols and Tatars. Uh, the Tatars came with the Mongols, they allied with the Mongols. But the uh, Tatars is from which we gave the Ottoman Empire and the Turks, Ottoman Turks. And. But the thing is. But the thing is, you know, when after her logo, the grandson of Genghis Khan took Baghdad and stuff, something like that. Yes, they conquered Muslim areas, but then Islam conquered them, even though they massacred like half of the population of Baghdad. Like, what half of the population? 800,000 from over 1 million. Like, literally, they killed 800,000 with their own bare hand of a civilian living in Baghdad because it was the biggest city of the most at the time, uh, out of like a million and a little bit. So, yeah. That requires a whole video on itself again. <laughs> there's a whole many things that requires a whole video on itself. Um, but the thing is, the Turks, what I'm saying, that entered India, we had some Mongol effect in them. They, a lot of a lot of the generals were using Islam as a tool. Some of them didn't, didn't pray even the Friday prayer, which is makes their Islam questionable. That's why a lot of bad things happen. It's only a few generals as well, but like these leaders, these w uh, uh, warlords that ruled, um, they lasted long, they, like they ruled for 60 over years, so but there's a few of them. So anyway. I've just died. On. China's back, yay. Hey, come here, time. Ming actually ruled for a long time, just like the, the Han. Han for 400, 500 years. Ming did decent until the key, the kin came from Manchuria because Manchuria wasn't part of China. But then they came from Manchuria and conquered Ming. But literally Ming is so nice. If the king didn't take it and became lazy, because the king, they will be lazy. But if Ming continue, it will enter, uh, it will, like when they get contact with the European, in fact, they will get contact with the European, not European get contact with them. They will get, you know, European technology and weapons before the Japanese, and we're gonna have a very powerful empire with a giant navy and stuff like that. I would reckon they. They will conquer a whole lot of the world, they colonize it. It will be a really massive power to deal with the entire world wouldn't want to mess with. That will change history. Uh, let's move to on. share new kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. <laughs> yeah, always it's really hard to Mapajahit. Mapajahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's kind of like a rebirth. Here's a printer, let's make books. So you think you Printers are literally sweet. The, that's why we have s the type of civilization we have nowadays. Printers are very important. They transform the world because it's much easier to make books. Back in, before printers, when you make a book, usually the book has only few copies. Like literally. So when someone like in Baghdad, the House of Wisdom got burned and destroyed, Somebody, some, a lot of people say like millions of books. At least we're talking about a million book got destroyed. So I'm saying like perhaps each book has two ver two copies. So when I say two books have two copies, so at, from five hundred thousand to two million books destroyed. That's it. You can't get access to them. It's not like modern. Uh, libraries when they get burned they just print another book that's not how it is so it's really tra transformed the world you can conquer the byzantine empire yep said the ottoman turks nice job ottoman turks oops oh, you, you missed a spot don't consumption. forget to ban europe from the indian spice trade what that's bullshit said portugal spiceless well i guess we'll have to find another way to um 
this happened a little bit later and um, with the Ultimate Empire but a little bit later plus Portugal um, didn't fully control the Indian Ocean and didn't succeed that much same with Spain and they got kicked out by the Ottomans that's why later on British made the colony in Southeast Asia to make a base there and from there they conquered India if the Portuguese didn't try to do this and the Spanish didn't try to do this funny business I don't think so the Ottoman Empire with a navy in the Indian Ocean would be that weak and I would say that they would be able to defend India uh, against the British and we wouldn't have British India but that requires a whole video in itself but, the, but it, uh, it's really good to emphasize that the Portuguese and the Spanish did these around Africa thing not only to make spices and stuff in empires but they had a plan of a crusade a new type of crusade their plan is to take the grave of Muhammad and then uh, make discussion with a Muslim is we're gonna return back the grave of Muhammad to you but in uh, in it but you should give us uh, what I call it uh, Jerusalem so they were trying to, that's why they make colonies inside the Arabian Peninsula. They're trying to, you know, reach the Medina, which they didn't succeed in. That's their main objective. In India is secondary, but still important, not pure secondary. Later on, became the main. The, later on, it became the main objective because they saw it was impossible to do that one. Um, what's also? So yeah, let's move on. India. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, probably smoking crack. If the world is round, <laughs> let's go this way to India. No, don't worry. We are uh, I want to tell you that Christopher Columbus actually knowed about... He didn't... That's the, the general uh, misconception about Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus and the Spanish and the Portuguese for the... Uh, from the writing of the uh, Muslims in uh, Andalus, in the Arabian Peninsula, in the, uh, Islamic Spain, um, or Hispania, Islamic Hispania, as the Romans call it, from which we get Spain, um, Muslim before the, uh, the Moors. Uh, Moors over here is kind of a racist description that the Christian used at the time from the West to the Muslims. But anyway, anyway uh, just additional bonus. However, from their things and from the Viking things, they know that there is a continent there and it's not India. Uh, there was some idea that through that we get to India, but they know there's a continent there. And the Muslims of Spain got to America before, and the Viking, as he said before, they got to America before too. But not exactly. And uh, they didn't make it that deep. There, there wasn't that much uh, focus on that. Just on some explorers without a follow up, and the Muslims didn't have time to follow up. The Ottomans reached uh, North and South America before, but they didn't f want to follow up because they're more focused on India. It's more, at the time, more powerful. Um, also, because it is far away, more far away, because Spain is right there compared to the alt to Turkey um, so yeah he know there's a there's a content there he had maps and stuff the thing is when you have when you're dealing with wind like when you you know ships back then they don't s see through the sea, they don't swim with the sea, they don't drive through the sea. I forgot what's the word, man. Using engines and stuff, so they cannot go in straight line, they have to follow the wind. So he needs maps and stuff like that. Why, that's why it's impossible to cross before him or before some of the people that did cross. It's impossible to cross the, the Pacific, o uh, I mean, the uh, Atlantic Ocean because you don't know the wind. It's unknown so yeah if they had engines everybody will have crossed the ocean easy because it's not only they have to follow the wind the wind makes the journey much longer if you, if you just 
go straight line it's much faster but they don't go straight line uh, they go like all along around sometimes they even walk around themselves perhaps a mistake has to have to correct themselves and all that stuff so yeah he needs a map and he got that from the Muslims a lot of people don't know this but I wanna say you can search it out if you if you wanna check if it, sounds, it seems crazy for you but there's a lot of misconceptions in this regard so I'm trying to clear that out we already got this, said Portugal. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please, no, please, no, please. Okay. So he sets into the ocean and happened. discovers more ocean. And then discovers the Indies and Japan. Let's draw a line to decide who gets which half of the world. The Aztec and Inca empires are off to a great start. I wonder if they know that Europe just discovered their continent. The Habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families they might have to start marrying each other. Move over, Lithuania. Here comes Moscow. Ivan wants to make Russia great again. <laughs> Move over, Timurids. Maybe go invade India or something. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Um, this is very important here because these guys really, really evil. They're not just Persia. They are worse than Persia. And they're really, really evil. And they're not Shia. They're not even Muslims. They literally, they're not even Shia. They, they were using religion to fight Islam, they are using Islam to fight Islam. The leaders of this group are not Muslims, they hate Muslims, they hate Arabs, they want to... They kill 10 million people at the time, one of the sixth of the population of the world, man. They, they really hate Muslims, uh, this requires a whole video, tell me in the comments below if you want to make me to make a video on this. Let's make it the other kind of Islam, the one where we thought the first guy should have been the other guy. Hey Christians, do you sin? Now that's way too much. Now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. These things happened before, like during the crusade. Uh, he's mixing dates a little bit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck. It's really a scam. Fuck the church. Here's 95 reasons why. <laughs> oh. If he added one more reason, man. If he added one more reason. <clears throat> Anyway, but but he's tr he is truthful in that regard because the Catholic Church is as an organization, not as a as a Catholic Church, you know, as 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 something you follow, a sect of Christianity, but as an organization, it's so fucking corrupt and so fucking yeah. There's ninety five reasons. If you're Christian, please read these. Why, said Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what would be magnificent, said Suleiman wearing an onion hat? What if the Ottoman Empire <laughs> was really big, which it is now? What if Russia was big, said Ivan, trying not to be terrible? <laughs> He's Ivan the Terrible. Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain not realized really. that this is not, not India, completely. but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said they couldn't. They couldn't hold to it for a long time. They got kicked out by... The Ottomans, even though um, they had support from Spain. France, we gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, <laughs> steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Sugar. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. The Dutch didn't do it completely. They had a lot of problems with the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire is still the main guy in the Indian Ocean all the way until the invasion of Egypt by Napoleon, the mainland Egypt by Napoleon. Or some people can say from the, you know, the failed attempt of uh, the Siege of Vienna. 16 something, I forgot. Is it 1666? 1667? Anyway. So, yeah. And it's so goddamn profitable, you might forget to not do slavery. Yeah. The next thing on Russia's... But slavery in this regard, you know, slavery of the Caribbean and, you know, African people from Africa going to uh, um, uh, America or United States as we know it now, um, and the triangle thing, this type of slavery is so different from any type of slavery in the rest of the history of the world. Uh... Slavery in Islam is called servantship. It's way different. Completely. Like 200, actually 350 degrees different. 
The do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world, more specifically Ohio. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Prussia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of America. Fuck you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And France helps them win. Now f That's literally it's because of just the, uh, taxes. It's literally just because of taxes. India, uh, UK without India, all the United States wouldn't be UK, wouldn't be the Great Britain Empire, British Empire. England wouldn't be England. Uh, after they lost the 13 colonies, that's why they went after India. Anyway, the British and the Americans, especially at the time, at this time, they're very similar to each other. It's just the main reason was the tax. France is broke, and Britain will have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off. Yeah, Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. Man. This, like, it's really complicated. It's also related to the Freemasonry. Said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You could make a relit. No, don't. <laughs> yeah, they almost the did. You actually, you actually, they almost made a religion out of this. So stupid. You have a revolution. This is. Uh, I want to comment on something. A lot of people when they hear these stupid religions making stories, stuff like that, they they. A lot of atheists, especially and especially the atheists that are doing propaganda stuff, they brought their own every, this label on every single religion. But Abrahamic religion are different. And due to the evidence, you see Islam, I mean, they are different according to how we know them today, Judaism and Christianity. But Islam uh, is, is way different than any religion in this world. Especially the slaves who free themselves by killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Yeah, I was was wondering this. Wait, who's in charge of France now? Said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. Luckily, they banished him to an island. But he came back. Luckily, they banished him to another island. There goes Latin America becoming independent. That happened because the French were controlling Spain. So after the French lost, this brother Napoleon just got kicked out of Spain and stuff like that. Then they started doing revolution. Then the British and the uh, and the new French. Don't didn't want this area to be so damn powerful. Same to United States because they want to fight in Mexico to take some areas, and manifest their destiny, which he's gonna talk about later. Differently, a little bit later. But the thing why we have all these different countries in South America and Central America is because the Britain are trying to divide them. Otherwise, they would be damn powerful, and they would just kick ass the rest of the world. And in the Latin American. World. I mean, they're not that powerful, but in terms of back in the days ways of doing things and how the economy back in the days, it will give them a lot of advantages. Wars of independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so they can make a lot of products oh, real fast. Then they invent some trains and conquer India and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain, buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything, says China. So Britain tried to get them addicted to opium, which worked, actually. But then China made it illegal and dumped it all into the sea. So Britain threw a hissy fit and made them open up five cities and give them an island. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Afghanistan. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Zanzibar now. That's just where he lives. India just had a revolution and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope, said Britain, governing them even harder than before. Technology is about to go crazy. The United States finally yeah, figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's bad, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kill the rest of the natives and take... So bad how they kill the rest of the natives. Like, come on, man. It, 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 it had a lot of racist application to it. Stuff like this requires a whole video again. So, their so. land and maybe kick out the Mexicans too. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never you know, could. since then... Since the UK invaded South Africa, from that point on, Africa is in its worst state in its history ever. Since then, 
it, Africa is still colonized to the day, but the new colonization, and uh, China is trying to put them in debt as well. So yeah, uh, that recalls a whole video on it by itself. I'll put some links in the description. Ethiopia. Britain and France are still hungry. They never got Thailand. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame the main on Spain. So they blame the main on That's Spain. Exactly what now we're in business. To celebrate, they kick Panama out of Panama and make a canal connecting the two oceans. Britain just found oil in the Middle East. It makes cars go. China is so tired of being <laughs> bossed around that they delete their old government and make a new, stronger government, which is accidentally weaker and controlled by a guy from the previous government. Europe hasn't had a war since the last war, so they start World War One. Look at those guns. It's going to be a great war. So great we won't need a second one. After it's over, they blame Germany. If the if uh, Ottoman Empire didn't join World War One, it would be the entire history of the world would be different. But it's a better question to say, what if the real Sultan of the Ottoman Empire in 1908, the coup on him didn't didn't work, and of course he wouldn't join the Ottoman Empire, but he would still be a legitimate caliph, and so the Arabs wouldn't be get angry because. France and the UK managed to defeat the Ottoman Empire only because they got support of the Arabs because they tricked them and he's going to talk about it just a little bit later. If the Ottoman Empire and the Caliph of 1908 continue, um, they didn't join World War One. the entire world of history would be whole different. Russia went on strike and the workers overthrew the government. Now everyone's paycheck is the same. Communism. In the Soviet Union, the oh, Arabs. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Everyone, paycheck is the same. And Britain helps. Now the Ottoman Empire is gone, so we can give the Jewish people a place to live. Hopefully, the Arabs won't mind. Let's cut the cake, said Sykes and Picot, carving up the remains of the not so Ottoman anymore empire. Except Turkey, Turkey makes a brand new Turkey. And then the Saudis conquer Arabia. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model, and he's mad at the Jews for existing. Japan is finally conquering the East, and they're so excited they raped Nanking way too hard, they should probably just deny it. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is a bad idea. But he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round, yeah, Pacific Showdown. Good. United States versus Japan. <laughs> What's this, Fight. Matt? This is like the first game. Finish it. <laughs> Let's unite bomb. all the nations and have some real That's peace. Sure Seems happened. legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to starve myself in public. Wow, that worked. Bonus. It's actually really worked. Uh, it has a reason why it's worked. A lot of people don't have, know the reason and stuff like that. It's actually very intelligent. Move. Political move. The thing is, a lot of people like Gandhi a lot not. Plus, Gandhi wants to unify the Muslims and the Hindus, and I will say that Muslim and Hindus, this requires a whole video because the Muslim, certain Muslim powers, rulers did some horrible stuff. However, it's not Islam. Uh, it's just certain tyrant, uh, warlords, individual looking for power. Uh, and they want to keep power, dictatorship. So, yeah. Um just individuals before before um, the Britain leave India India was unified you know the Muslims and the Hindus protest together against Britain but as soon as Britain leave they start to fight each other if you ask a hin hin Indian Indians a lot of no, a, a lot of a lot of of them they have certain racist stuff towards Pakistan stuff like that, but more it, then later on, just not just because of Islam. Now it's just trying some propaganda stuff like that. Islam is because there is extremists and India is a big place. So even if there's like two percent extremists, that's 20, 30 millions. They still can do a lot of shit. But uh, the thing is, now it's became just because of Pakistan, not not because they are Muslims, really. Uh, the thing is, the main reason why we have Pakistan, Bangladesh, and India, and Sri Lanka is because Britain doesn't want this entire area to be one. Otherwise, it will be a superpower. 
So now there's Pakistan. Actually, two Pakistans. One of them could be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. Me, they both said at the same time. Let's... Like, seriously, why the Jews have... Like, we don't have problem with the Jews. The, like, before these type of Jews, the Zionist Jews, the Jews from all over the world, come, especially Europe, after the, the Holocaust come to Palestine, before that, there was Arab Jews. Arab Jews are living in Palestine, whom are the real Jews by uh, by blood. What I mean is, Jewish Jewish thing term is a bit tricky, because Jewish can mean you are be a believer in Judaism, but also can mean separately that you are a Jewish by culture, by 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 you know blood DNA. A different uh, people I mean try different tribe you know different people it's like Asians Jews you know how like Asians Africans as Jews right just like how there's Kurds Turks Mongols you know so what I mean by that the Jews that lives in Palestine they can be tracked back to the 12 original tribes of uh, Israel Those are the real Jews. The rest of the Jews around the world are converts, or 99.99% .99 of them are converts, and though this very tiny piece of just mix everywhere, possibly if not all of them just converts, they just convert to Judaism. They don't have the right to go to the mainland, uh, to the to the Holy Land. Well, they can visit and stuff like, that, but not live there and call it Israel. What? For this problem, you can blame the Romans. Why are you not blaming Italy and stuff like that? Why not? Why the Arabs and stuff like that? It has a lot of politics and complicated stuff. It has a lot of, you know, what Britain wants to, and, you know, superpowers decision, and that superpowers are just dick. So, yeah. The thing is, bring Jews from all, all over the world to live in Palestine as if it is their own, as if it is their right. It's the same as saying to Muslims, to like it's the same as saying every single Muslim should have the right to have a Saudi passport because the birth of Islam, the two cities of Mecca and Medina is inside of Saudi side of the Arabian princess so every single Muslim in the world have a right to give a Saudi passport is that it, it looks stupid here is because Islam Muslims is a different thing but it's easy to recognize than Judaism because Judaism is all originally just to the Jew 12 tribes of Israel but then it expanded certain people to convert it so that's what makes it complicated <coughs> and harder but saying all the Jews have a right in that in Palestine by religion is the same as saying all, all the Muslims have a right to have a, a Saudi passport which is ridiculous Let's divide up the land so everyone's happy Say they both get angrier. because the Jews because the Jews um, because the Jews um, that got very angry about it actually as Einstein says and he's a Jew like I hate what he what he said in in a word or another I hate seeing the Jews doing to the Arabs what uh, uh, the Nazis did to the Jews it's kind of a cycle of hate or whatnot but the thing is this requires a whole video, it's so alright. I was thinking of making a video like this, but a bit later on. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, said the other China, escaping to an island. I wonder which one is the real China. Republic of China is the real China. Communist Party invaded China just like in 1949, just like how Saudi Arabia con uh, con uh, conquered the area which is now known as Saudi Arabia. That's why it's called Saudi Arabia on the Saudi family because they conquered the area. Did you catch it? So, real China is the Republic of China. People's Republic of China. If you put people in front of something and you call it a republic, doesn't make it uh, look less horrible. It's not a republic, it's not people, it's communist shit. They, people, like, 
But China, we know today, not Taiwan. Th that government has no representation of its people. Okay, real China is the Republic of China that that's living now in Taiwan. There's the Korean War, Korea versus Korea. Nobody wins, then it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Yeah, oh, it's literally. the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is an evil. Yeah, it's just like a dick contest that went too far, literally. Virus of Satan. And they both have atom bombs. Fight! Wait, no, that would be the end of the world. Yeah. Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have enough atom bombs. I'll race you to space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other continents, and the continents they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. But the thing is... This map is made by the colonialism, and it is still colonized in a way or another. Okay? It's still colonized. The new version of colonialism is happening. Just to make a short piece. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another minute to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Let's check the world population. Whoa. Okay. Technology's better too, that might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. <laughs> yeah. Europe makes That's a union, so now they can all use the same money. Except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Whoops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Phone call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Wanna learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer. 9-11 requires a whole video too, but the thing is, there's a lot of details, results that says that there's a possibility that the CIA did it, or allowed it to happen, or supported it to happen, or some mix of that, to justify the United States going to war and doing what it did. Yeah. Continue. Which is in your closet video. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail because they're not supposed to. Yeah, it's too big to fall, but they have too much power. I'll, I'll tell you one thing there is no democracy in the world as long as these big banks exist. The main reason why John F. Kennedy was killed because he wanted to close those big banks. He, will, he got assassinated by the CIA. CIA controls the United States. Surprise! Flying robots. With bombs. Want to print a brain? Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The yeah, globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this video is genius. Of course, it got 112 millions. Yeah, but it's very damn good, and I liked it. There was some stuff there and there, but it's fine. It had some misconceptions, though, and I hopefully I corrected them. Tell me your opinions in the comments below, and tell me what you what you want me to to what I call it um, uh, react to next, and subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comments of the things, the questions, the stuff. And do all this YouTube stuff, like like, comments, all that stuff. And thank you, and see you in the next video. Peace out.